Greetings Twill fans! I'm on my holiday in Whitstable. It's a lovely seaside town on the Kent coast in England and it's famous for its oysters and its fish. So I've bought a lovely piece of fish and I'm going to make Vincent Price's potato and fish chowder recipe from the legendary Cooking Price Wives. Here are my ingredients. This is the haddock I bought this morning from Whitstable Harbour. I don't know how I'm going to get the skin off. I'm not going to film that because that could be carnage. There's an onion, some mucky potatoes, loose, bought loose. Fantastic. I like that. I like Whitstable. It's good. Salt and pepper, double cream, some mushrooms, some streaky bacon. You'll also need stock or water and some parsley, which I forgot. I will be drinking some straight out of Whitstable while I'm making this dish. And after that, some Whitstable Bay. I'm all about the local stuff this week. This is actually proving a bit easier than I thought it would be. So don't be daunted if you buy a great big bit of fish and then you have to skin it. I should have asked the fishmonger to skin it. I don't know why I didn't. I'm frying up one onion, which I've roughly chopped up, and three rashes of streaky bacon that I bought from one of the lovely butchers here in Whitstall, of which there are four. I'm adding about a pound of peeled and chopped up potatoes to the bacon and the onions. So I've got four fairly large mushrooms which I've sliced up. They're gonna go in as well. I've cut the fish into fairly big chunks and that's going in as well. So you add half a pint of water or stock. I forgot to buy stock cubes, so just water for us. Good old grinding of nice sea salt, this is. I've put about that much in to taste, obviously. And uh, plenty of black pepper, because I like black pepper, and I believe Mr. Rathbone does too. Oh yes. You like the black pepper, don't you? So I, I always put quite a lot of black pepper in stuff, so. But completely as to your taste. Um, after a discussion with M Mr. Rathbone, I've decided to add an extra half pint of water because we don't think these potatoes are gonna cook. So we're adding another half a pint of water. We're gonna put the lid on and bring it up to a simmer. Then once it's at a simmer, Mr. Vincent Price says, simmer gently for 15 minutes. So our child is bubbling away. I think it's had about 15 minutes, maybe. Um, we're not sure whether we went a bit early adding extra water. There's quite, there's quite a lot of liquid in there, but the potatoes are cooking nicely. The fish is cooking nicely. So, you know, it might be a slightly watery, chowder more watery than vincent would have liked but i think vincent was very forgiving and he he won't mind that we've fiddled around with his recipe a bit all we need to do is add the cream and the non-existent parsley and then we can eat it once your potatoes are cooked take the pan off the heat for a little bit and let it cool down so that the cream doesn't curdle and then add about two tablespoons of cream. I'm doing a Jamie Oliver and guessing this, so I reckon that's about right. I'll give it a stir and then maybe we'll add some more, see how we feel. I think that's looking good. What do you think, Mr. Rathbone? Well, that's looking good. Imagine some parsley on there. I'm imagining. <laughs> okay, shall we eat it? Let's see. Parsley. Or as Mr. Rathbone likes to call it, 
party with some nice fresh bread from the bakers in Whitstable and some Whitstable.